and not the fruit, you're in the right place. Peak looking to strike out the sides in the top of the second. Zach Peak goes one, two, three with three Ks. Top two, he has five punch outs. Allowed Winthrop to get those two runs. That one falls into right field for a base hit off the bat of Dylan Morton. And coming back now to second is Spires. So Spires at second, Dylan Morton at first, and Winthrop has runners at first and second with just one gone. Came in with six, looking to make it 16 strikeouts early on the season in just his second start. Strikeout number 10 for Zach Peak. And Cale Gibson going deep right field, two run, home run. That one went off the light post. Cale Gibson makes it 15 to seven, looking up to the Friday night lights. And Winthrop is rolling to the finish line. Yes, go ahead and get reins. Here's Mulkey out here to left field, deep, deep, and it's gone, a three run shot for Matthew Mulkey. And this game is all tied up at three. Mulkey goes long to left field. Far for Fulbright, up to 35 total pitches. This one is hammered out left of center. It will drop down off the bat of Tyler Halstead. Halstead at first, and now he will pull into second for a leadoff two-bagger for Tyler Halstead as Halstead picks up his 11th double bag trip of 2018. In for additional baseball. Pitch on 3-2 from Whitaker. And that's a strikeout. Originally looked as if it may be a walk. Instead, it's a punch out. Dalton Whitaker picks up his second save of 2018. And the Eagles hold on to top UNC Asheville in game one, two to one. What an about face from home plate umpire Jeff Francis. And what a way for the Eagles to win it on a Friday. Counts full, three and two pitch, and that is a walk. No room at the Winthrop Eagles Hotel on this Saturday. Base is loaded. Morton ready with Halstead at second. Pitch, Dylan Morton. This one will get down for a base hit right field. And getting no stop sign at third base. He's going to be brought home. Tyler Halstead will score safe at second. Just able to beat that throw coming back in. Dylan Morton, another one out double for the Eagles. And it's three to nothing, Winthrop. Eight Bulldogs down by three. They've got him at first and third. And that's a big strikeout for Zach Peak. As Peak is well over 100 now on pitch 112. Peak gets a big punch out. Five hits and an error for the Bulldogs. 2-0, Dylan Morton out to left field. That's going to get all the way out to the left field corner. Morton at first, and now he'll pull into second. That's a sud, a stand-up double for Dylan Morton, bottom of the eighth. After this at bat. All he needs is a base hit. Like and that right there. there you go. Into right field. It'll keep on rolling for Mitch Spires. Spires at first. He'll get to second. And Spires thinking about legging it out. An extra 90 feet. That's a one-out triple that will also bring in Jake Sullivan. And Winthrop has the lead here in the bottom of the first. One to nothing over the Bulldogs. August. There's one up in Danville, Virginia, as Tyler Halstead. He's trying to hit one to Danville, Virginia. It's all the way out. That one heading out possibly to Borderland. A three-run shot for Tyler Halstead over the left field wall. And Winthrop gets the lead back. They now lead it 4-2 to two over the UNC Asheville Bulldogs. Here comes Tyler Halstead coming back as Halstead goes out for the second time this season. And Sericchio straight to the shortstop, tosses second, now back to first there in time for a double play. Turn two, Winthrop defense, two gone, top seven. Looking to get up there with Riley Arnone and five saves this season. That one gets in for a strike, and Whitaker has five saves this season as Winthrop holds on for the victory. Two to nothing. They get it over the Liberty Flames.